Hello, I'm getting ready to celebrate Pentecost. Are you? The color for the day will be red. I did a little scavenger hunt in my house and discovered some red items. The first being the mug from which I drink my morning tea. You can see the red gates of Wesley House, which is in Cambridge, England, where I had the opportunity to do some of my studying for my doctorate. I also came across a red solo cup. This contains the kibble for my great day. Her name is Julian. And some red tissues. Apparently I like to have colorful tissues in the summer. As I went through my cupboards, I came across some old paper plates, red. No, I'm not endorsing the pizza delivery company on the on the title of the plates, but I came across some red plates as well. I'm going to use these shortly. Last but not least, a red life is good hat. Indeed, life is good. As we prepare for Pentecost, you're being encouraged on Sunday when you join us for worship to wear red. The red is the color of the season the season in which we celebrate the empowerment of the the first disciples, the apostles, and us with the gift of the Holy Spirit, God's Spirit, which enlivens us, renews us, guides us, comforts us, intercedes with our hearts and God's heart when we pray. I thought it might be fun to do something a little weird. I thought it might be fun to make a Pentecost hat. I saw this on a friend's website when they were doing something called Messy Church. What they did is they made Holy Spirit hats. Now, this particular Holy Spirit hat is fairly easy to make. Remember those paper plates I mentioned earlier? Well, you take a paper plate and then on that paper plate, you draw an outline of a semicircle and then the outline for whatever will make the flame of your hat. Now the goal is to cut along the red line. You'll notice at the bottom I left it open, there's no red line. That way we don't end up cutting our flame out of our hat. So we cut it out. We end up with something we then can decorate. And that is what I did with mine. I traced around it in red, did some red coloring with, with magic markers. And to add a little depth, I took some of my, my napkins, remember those napkins? And I cut them up, I crinkled them up and I taped them, them on them. If you don't have your own colored paper napkins, you can always color the backside and do the same. And now we are ready for Pentecost. Well, almost, we need to add the balloons. I hope you have a wonderful day. I look forward to celebrating God's amazing gift of spirit on Sunday with you. Take care and God bless.